We're asked to find the mass of the region bounded by the line y equals eight minus x, the x-axis, and the y-axis, with the density function rho of x comma y equals five xy. I've already graphed the bounded region on the right. We will call this region R. The mass of the region is equal to the double integral over the region R of the density function differential A, which means in our case the mass is equal to the double integral over the region R of five xy differential A. And now we need to decide on the order of integration, meaning whether we should let differential A be equal to dy dx or dx dy. So looking at the region R, notice the region is bounded on the right by the line as well as above by the line where the equation on the line is y equals eight minus x. So because the equation is already solved for y, it'll be a little less work if we integrate with respect to y first and then x. And therefore we'll let differential A be equal to dy dx, which gives us a double integral of five xy dy dx. And now let's find the limits integration for y. The region is bounded below by y equals zero and above by y equals eight minus x which means the limits of integration for y are from zero to eight minus x. The limits of integration for x are from zero to eight. And now I begin by integrating with respect to y, treating x as a constant, which gives us five x times y squared divided by two, or five halves x y squared as the antiderivative. And now we need to find big F of eight minus x minus big F of zero by performing substitution for y. So this will give us five halves x times the square of eight minus x minus five halves x times the square of zero. Well, of course this is going to be zero so this is equal to the integral from zero to eight of five halves x times the square of eight minus x is going to be 64 minus 16 x plus x squared. You may want to verify this. And let's go ahead and distribute the five halves x. Five halves x times 64 is equal to 160 x minus five halves x times 16 x is equal to 40 x squared. And finally we have five halves x times x squared, which gives us plus five halves x cubed. And now we integrate this back to x. Integrating 160 x, we have 160 times x squared divided by two, or 80 x squared, minus Integrating 40 x squared, we have 40 times x cubed divided by three, which gives us minus 40 thirds x cubed. And then plus we have five halves times x to the fourth divided by four, which gives us plus five eighths x to the fourth. And now for the last step, we need to find big F of eight minus big F of zero. Substituting eight for x, we have 80 times the square of eight minus 40 thirds times the cube of eight plus five eighths times the fourth power of eight minus big F of zero is going to be zero. This simplifies exactly to 2,560 thirds. Well, if we round to four decimal places, we have approximately 853.3333. I hope you found this helpful.